Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today is going to be a negative video because I'm sure many of you have seen other Halo content creators, and I'm sure you guys are sick and tired of seeing it. But I feel like all all of us Halo content creators have to say something, otherwise nothing's going to change. And like I said, I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing Halo content creators just saying well negative things about the game, but Again, we have to say something, otherwise nothing's going to change. So I just want to tell you all how I'm feeling about the game. Well, for starters, I haven't been playing uh, too often lately. I've been basically kind of avoiding the game, and I've just been playing other games. Um, I did try to play the game uh, when the mid-season patch came out, but <laughs> my game crashed twice mid-game during ranked matches, and the second time I got... Uh, my game crashed, I got banned, so when I got banned, I basically just stopped playing the game and I didn't play till, well, today, which is Tuesday, March 1st, so it's new, uh, new store update and whatnot, and I went back to check out the store and see what the weekly reward was, and my game crashes twice again, <laughs> but this time in the menus, so then after that, I'm like, yep, I'm gonna go back to playing other games. If at the very least the ranking system was like better and the MMR system especially needs to be looked at, uh, maybe I would play a little bit more. But, and also on top of that, <laughs> if my PC could quit crashing, <laughs> like I, I just can't help but laugh. <laughs> We're such a joke! Uh, why? <laughs> We waited, <laughs> we waited three to six years for this game, and I don't know whose decision was it to release it, release this game on November 15th, even though they said it was in beta, no, that's bullshit, and like, no, that the game was released on November 15th, and clearly that was a bad call, because then December came around, and 343 went on vacation, rightfully so, they deserve a vacation, but the game was at a terrible state, so it's like, they left at the wrong time, or like, they should not have released the game on November 15th. That was a terrible idea. I was, I was slivering, like, hoping the game wouldn't release on November 15th, and then it did. We're about two to three months in, into the game's life cycle, and we've barely gotten anything. Just little mini weekly events, which aren't bad, but w we need more, and the mid-season patch update, which didn't... It, it fixed some things, it was, it, it's, it's basically a, the mid-season update was a late day one patch. Very late day one patch. And I understand, I, I appreciate, I see Joe on Twitter, love you Joe, um, coming out and just saying like, you know, hey, we need more time with the roadmap, I appreciate that. But, at the same time, it's like, maybe, maybe the game shouldn't have released on uh, November 15th and should have waited till the summer that was a, that I was advocating for way back around August of 2021 in this like I was hoping maybe a delay for for six more months at the very least but nope they released on November 15th and we're seeing the, the repercussions of that decision and they're like we're, they're still kind of drip feeding content into the game and yeah, I, I, I still stand by that video I made on uh, in August. Game needed at least six more months to maybe even a year before it should have released. I've also heard about Microsoft apparently hiring a lot of contractors for this game, and that definitely might have played a part, because... I mean, I don't know anything about that shit, but I'm assuming it's like you bring someone temporarily, they do something, then you bring someone else in, and then... it'll that person will be confused and be like, hey, how the hell does this shit work? Or like, how did this person do this? And then they got to figure it on their own. And then the cycle just repeats. And that's probably part of the reason why uh, Infinite probably had a rough uh, development cycle. I guess I also want to mention, if any 343 employee is watching this, I should have mentioned this first. This is not necessarily a feedback video. This is this is a rant video. This is like, like rated R, like fucking, this is just me ranting. This this is not how I would speak to a 343 employee. I would be much more formal, but this is just me, my channel, so I'm gonna rant whatever the fuck I want. 
I guess I do want to talk about the store a little bit since it is going on in the background. Um, so far, I, everyone's already given their feedback about the store while I was gone, so I guess I don't really have much to say on it. Except maybe the store definitely needs an improvement, and I noticed today was a sale, so that was pretty cool. Um, I don't like the, the fact that they're selling reach items in the store, because when you do get max level in the battle pass, when you get the achievement, the battle pass number shows uh, 120, which means there was 20 more ex extra items in in the original like first battle pass. So, 343 reselling those reach items in the store is kind of scummy. So I actually haven't bought a single damn reach item from the store. As far as me uh, buying items from the store, I will admit, the first week when Infinite dropped number 15th, I basically spent like all that first week so whatever came in those dailies like I spent it all the first week I, and I think I might have missed one day and then the next time I spent was on December 8th when the campaign came out so on that day I spent whatever was on that day and then after that uh, I spent on this uh, Crimson Serpent weapon set that you're seeing I love that shit so I spent it on that um what else I bought all the HCS stuff and I've also bought the Optic Gaming HCS um, set and um, Optic Gaming so far is my favorite team so I had to get it and I did buy that Wrath set which I forgot the full name but it, it had Wrath in the name and all the shit that was in there was cool so I bought it. I apologize for no gameplay in the background that's how lazy I am to fucking play this game uh, this is just all a bunch of store footage that I wanted to make about the store but I'm just too lazy and, you know, that it is what it is. What's important is not what's going on in the background. What's important is what I have to say. Next thing I want to talk about is for those of us that played Halo 5 a shit ton and got SR-152. Let me just say, 343, you basically slapped us in the face by releasing those HCS coatings or whatever for the weapons. Um, those look way too similar and the, the chrome on the on the HCS skins look way brighter than the ones on the 152 skins so that's a kick in the balls for us and the crimson serpent weapon set that, that shit looks way better than the 152 skins like that's a kick in the dick <laughs> i feel like you like 343 needs to like re revert the 152 coatings the way how it was like during the concept art or like before what it looks like now and on top of that, I would like that same 152 coatings added to the vehicles and the other weapons as well. And and as far as the uh, the Eld emblem, the, the mantle looking emblem, we should get at least double the amount of color options than what's there right now. That would, at least for me, make up for the HCS winter stuff and the serpent stuff. And just give more value back to the to the people like me who, who did grind Halo 5 for that 152. There is no other game I'd rather play more than Halo Infinite. But as of right now, 343 has a lot of work to do. And there's no other, like, I, I would love to make more Infinite content. And I, unfortunately, I did have one, I do have one sort of video, not really a video in the works, but right now it's in script form. And I don't know if I'm going to finish, no, I am going to finish it. I just don't know what, it's probably going to be on pause for a while. I already have some footage on a couple other games that I'm playing that I might make videos on, so if you don't if you don't want to watch those, that's fine. But as of right now, it looks like Halo Halo Infinite content for me is gonna take a bit of a backseat until 343 gets their shit together. Again. It's a good thing I was never in that crowd that said or like that were saying Halo hashtag we back, whatever. No. No. We're not even close to being back. What's unfortunate is that we had people the first week. Day one, the first week, we had so many people. And basically Halo Infinite won by default comparing it to, you know, Battlefield 2042 and Vanguard. The win for Halo Infinite was given on a silver platter. And Halo Infinite was not even in its full potential. But with all the negative stuff that I've said today in this video, I still have a sliver of hope for this game. While most of it right now is doom and gloom, there is still hope for this game. At least this game is not in the state of Battlefield 2042 where it's just completely busted and I, there's no way it looks like that game's coming back. And Vanguard, even though Vanguard is picking its feet back up, Call of Duty this year is right now in sort of in fatigue mode, which means people are just tired of Call of Duty. 
but Halo Infinite, I think people desperately want to play this game. But right now, people are just looking at it from afar and maybe just paying attention to the news and just hopefully just get some good news from 343, you know, saying, hey, here's here's the roadmap, here's the content, here's what's, here's what's coming, and hopefully Season 2 will be that, just that. And speaking of Season 2, if they have to delay Season 2, do it. Season 2 is kind of like the second chance in this game, kind of like the second chance perk in, like, Call of Duty World at War. As far as my expectations for Season 2, I, I don't know what to expect, honestly. We're, we're completely blind. I have no fucking clue. Except maybe co-op campaign. I think that's maybe the only thing I maybe expect. Season 2 needs to be a polished season. I'm not sure, like, if it has to be big necessarily, but at least have it polished. I, I'm sure we can also expect a new battle pass, a new 100 tiers to grind for. I guess since we're, we're this far into the video, I might as well mention the leaks. Now, I will never show leaks uh, on this channel at all, but I have seen them on Twitter. You can always interact with me on Twitter. And the stuff that I'm, I'm seeing looks really promising, and and it just tells me, you know, 343, even though they're quiet, they, when it, they, they're clearly working on stuff, and Forge is looking fire from, from the stuff that I saw. For those that haven't seen the leaks yet or are just avoiding them, I want you guys to know Forge is looking fire. And the game modes they are working on are, well, they are working on them, so that's good. And that's about pretty much all I gotta say on this video. I mean, like I said, there's still hope. It's just a waiting game. Again. <laughs> and, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens from here. And, you know, yeah. subscribe if you want. Whatever. Peace.